In this exercise, I'm going to show you to use the layers in Swiss PDB view to create uh, somewhat complicated uh, images for protein structures. So we are going to start with a PDB file ID with ID 1MBO. It turned out if you Google 1MBO, uh, Google actually send you directly to the PDB database. I click the 1MBO link. It's take you directly to the um, 1MBO data PDB file. So this is the structure for oxidized myoglobin with a, at a 1.6 angstrom. And to download the PDB file, go to right, see the download of files. Uh, in the drop, drop down menu, select PDB file text, save the file. Uh, already saved it. And so then we go to the downloaded uh, place. In my case, it's downloads. And I'm going to right click it, say open in Swiss PDB. Uh, application. Uh, alternatively, you can also go directly. Uh, you can open the uh, PDB view directly, right? And then uh, use open file, open one-line PO PDB. Either way, it should all both work. Okay. So, so this is the myoglobin protein structure. Now, uh, I want to uh, use uh, open up the control. I want to show only the ribbon structure of the protein. So I'm going to select all, and then go to a panel, control panel, say select ribbons. And then I want to hide uh, hide all those uh, wild structure the residue. Select now, and then go to a control panel again. Show nothing, and those are gone. So here's uh, the part where the layers come from. So if we go to a window again, select a layer information. You see, we have only one layer here. And in the columns, there is a visible. If we click invisible, unclick that, that protein structure will disappear. We click it back, the ribbon starts to come back. And now we want to add another layer in order to uh, show the hemi structure in the myoglobin. So I'm going to go to File again, Open PDB File. I'm going to open one nbo.pdb file again. Now close a lot. Now this time make it a uh, you know, lot. You see there are actually two layers. Uh, so if I click unclick the first layer, it's gone. Uh, second layer. So I'm going to just select the second layer. How do I know I'm in the second layer? So if I go back to the control panel. It's not the visible here is unclicked, so that's this is the first layer. It's also uh, uh, the ribbon structure, and uh, it's not showing the residue. If I click the this name, see now uh, a drop up, drop down uh, window pop up again. And then I select the next one. This is, should be the next layer. So now this is visible. So I'm going to uh, remove. Select now, remove all the amino acid. Now I go all the way down, you will see hemi structure there. We select hemi structure there, and you now turn you can see this is a hemi structure. Now, in most of the uh, textbooks, this hemi structure is show in color red. So, color. Uh, click color is actually say backbone side chain, and we are going to keep it this way. So, goes to uh, hemi structure, click color, we select red there. Now, how do we merge these two images together? So, we go back to the layer 
uh, put the visible back, and then turn the structure so make it uh, look nicer. I guess it's not easy. Uh, you just have to try. Uh, I'm, I think I'm making it worse and worse. Uh, okay. Uh, this is reasonable. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, save it now. Uh, save image. This is for the report. So uh, let's say myoglobin hemi jpeg. Now we can go to the download C. Yes, myoglobin jpeg. Yeah, that's uh, well reasonably a presentable picture. And you can also save your working file here. So save uh, layers. Say project all layers. So that's called uh, myoglobin layers. .pdb. So if I now if I quit everything again, close. There's nothing here, and then I'm going to open that myoglobin layers again. There, it's coming back. So, so everything is still there. So, and you can see there are still two uh, two layers there. Okay.